G'day, g'day. It's Nick here and welcome to Wicked Wildlife. And in today's video, I want to introduce you to this girl here, the Sydney funnel web spider, the most venomous spider on the planet. So stick around, guys. This video should be a very interesting one. So altogether, there's about 45,000 different species of spider around the world. There's 2,000 species here in Australia, and there's 40 species of Australian funnel web spiders. But only six of those are what we call medically significant, or venomous enough that doctors are worried about them, and two have been recorded killing people. There's been one death from the northern tree-dwelling funnel web spider, and the other 13 deaths have all been from this girl here, the Sydney funnel web. Now, there's actually a couple of things that make the Sydney funnel web spider so dangerous to human beings. It's not just the fact that she's armed with the most toxic venom of any spider on the planet today, but a huge part of it is their distribution, their proximity to people. You see, the funnel web spider is native to New South Wales, between Nowra in the south, north to about Newcastle, which puts Sydney, our, our most populated city with 5.3 million people, smack dab in the middle of their distribution. So they come into contact with an awful lot of people. But interestingly, it's actually the males that people come into contact with and the males that cause almost all the bites and so far, all the deaths. And this is because the male and female Sydney funnel web spider live very different lifestyles. You see, female funnel web spiders, like this girl here, they grow to be quite a bit bigger than the males, but they're really homebodies. They live 20 years and they spend almost their entire life in their single little funnel-shaped web. They won't leave. They wait for food to come to them and boys to come to them. The males, on the other hand, they start off life like a female, staying at home and growing. They reach maturity at four years of age, upon which they leave, and they spend the last 12 months of their life, they only live another year, basically as nomads looking for girls. And this is when they bite people. They're not looking for people, but during the night, they're going around looking for girls to mate with. And come sun up, they've got to find somewhere to crash. And in human areas, this can be in the kids' shoes at the back doorstep, near the sand pit, around the toys, and this means that the males are coming into contact with people. The males aren't just more dangerous because they come into contact with people, they're also significantly more venomous than the females. In fact, male Sydney funnel web spiders are six to seven times more toxic than the females are, and the females lack the attracker toxin, which is the most dangerous of all the components that make up their venom. So while you wouldn't want to get a bite from this girl here, it'd certainly ruin your day, there's not been anybody confirmed to have been killed by a female Sydney funnel web spider. It's the males that are the most dangerous. Now, this attracker toxin is actually a bit of an evolutionary mystery. You see, it's harmless to all mammals except for human beings and other primates. So a bite from a single funnel web spider is actually not considered dangerous to your cat or your dog, but it's been recorded killing a human being in as little as 15 minutes. And we just don't know why. They've evolved on a continent with no native primates, but these guys are the most dangerous spider on Earth when it comes to a human bite. So it's a bit of an evolutionary mystery. Speaking of bites, if you're unlucky enough to come to the other end of this girl here, you're gonna know it. The first thing you're gonna experience is pain, and that's not a result of her venom. It's the fact that these fangs are almost a centimeter long. So you're gonna feel those get driven into your finger, your toe, wherever it happens. But once the venom starts kicking in, you're gonna experience things like intense salivation or drooling. You might have muscle contraction spasms, feel things like confusion, disorientation, labored breathing, and eventually unconsciousness. Luckily, the first aid that we use for our venomous snakes, the compression bandage, also works for the funnel web spider. So the first thing you wanna do if you're bitten by a funnel web spider is apply a bandage, just like you would a snake bite from the end of your limb, your fingers, your toes, all the way up to the body. And you wanna get yourself straight to hospital. In the early 1980s, an antivenine actually came in for the funnel web spider. And since then, since 1981, we haven't had a human death from the funnel web spider, despite the fact that 30 to 40 people a year still end up in hospital because of funnel web bites. So luckily today, while it's still a very serious bite, your chances of survival are about 100%. Now, while modern medicine has basically got the treatment for funnel web bites down pat, it's only been in the last few decades that scientists have got to start looking into how their venom might actually benefit people. You see, this attracker toxin, the thing that makes them so dangerous to human beings, is only one small part of the composition of their venom. You see, scientists actually believe there's about 3,000 different components in funnel web venom, and some of these ingredients have already showed promise for treating everything from 
irritable bowel syndrome to stroke to epilepsy. Some of them have already got uses keeping organs alive during transport for organ transplants. So this girl here, while she might be capable of taking a human life, there may be the possibility that this species could help hundreds of thousands more lives than they could ever, ever manage to take. So it's not just the most venomous spider on the planet, it's also a perfect reminder of while all animals really are worthy of our respect and our conservation. You see, it's never been more appropriate than today to realize that the natural world is important to us, not just because it's intrinsic value, but because there's all kinds of undiscovered things that could help the next pandemic, the next cancer, all the ingredients in there could one day be useful to us and we don't want to lose it and then find out that we should have kept it. So I hope you found a newfound respect for the most venomous spider on the planet. I hope you've learned a few things. And if you have enjoyed the video, please leave us a comment, a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel. But after all those things, guys, please check on back next week. There's a lot more wildlife content coming. But between now and the next video, be nice to wildlife. Have a good one and take care.